Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the Music Factory Studios. It's me, Joe Salyers, back here, ready to show you some really cool stuff about Lubuntu or LXQT. I'm going to show you how to make it look better and get a dark mode. So first off, let's check INXI. I'm using my i3-7100 with the 550 AMD GPU, and this is Ubuntu 20.04 and we're running kernel 5.4.0. Now, what you want to do here is once you download Lubuntu, is also open the terminal, get all of your updates, and open up the LXQT appearance configuration, set your GTK theme to Arc Dark or Advada Dark, whichever dark you want, and then search for the configuration center looking for your terminal as well. Open your terminal, your favorite terminal app, and type in this command. This will help you to get your QT apps to match your GTK apps. So what you want to type in here is apt search kvantum, K-V-A-N-T-U-M. You're going to see a few options here. Any of them that you use will automatically install Kvantum. So I end up installing the Adapta KDE and the QT5 options here. And what that will do will give you the Kvantum theme manager. And the best part about that is you're able to add QT themes. And as long as you match up your GTK themes and your Kvantum themes, you will have a unified look to Lubuntu or LXQT if you're on another distro. Okay, make sure you do your QT5 style Kvantum dash themes. This gives you a few extra themes that are not in the default Kvantum theme manager. And it's real simple. If you need to search for anything in Ubuntu or Debian based distros, just type apt, apt, search, and then what it, you know, the keyword of the thing you're searching for, and it will give you options. That's why I like Tilex, because I can have side by side terminals and copy and paste. It just makes it a lot easier. Now, what we want to do here is look in our system tools for Kvantum. We're going to click on the Kvantum manager. Okay. If you close the LXQT settings configuration center and reopen it the Kvantum manager icon will be in there so open appearance and the Kvantum manager the second tab that says change and delete theme click on it and down through the menu you will see different themes you want to match it to the arc dark theme here and over in widget style change it to Kvantum dark and now we have a unified theme this is Arc Dark. Now you could also do something like Edwida or other themes you could install. Try to match your themes. Matching up Kvantum themes to GTK themes really helps. Now certain things like the file manager won't change until a complete reboot. But that's okay. It's, it's there. You can also install more themes if you want to. You can go to the regular places you would normally get themes for Plasma or for GNOME or Budgie or wherever you get your themes. You can also do Advaita, and Advaita looks pretty good too on LXQT. As you can see, each time you change the Kvantum, that's why you have two options, Kvantum and Kvantum Dark. You can switch back and forth, and that will auto-switch the theme pretty, pretty instantaneously. You can also go into the open box preferences and change the client side decorations such as the X maximize and minimize buttons, the close maximize and minimize buttons. There's not a whole lot of options in uh, LXQT or Openbox for that part of the decorations, but hey, it's not that bad. It looks really good though, and it gives you some options for a good dark theme that's solid across the entire Linux a new spectrum of apps so you can get a unified theme and at least get a dark theme that works so it, it's pretty pretty nice to be able to do that now the one thing I, I really like is 
the Arc Dark theme. As you can see, I'm going back and forth between Covantum and Covantum Dark here to keep a unified theme and switch the themes on the fly. Warning! 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 Don't go overboard with come to fix. Use them in a subtle way. I went overboard just to show you how far you can push it with these effects. So you can see them gone wrong. Okay, so what I did was I went and put in the GLX renderer and kind of went overboard a little bit. Dude, look at these insane shadows, okay? Now, you just want to do it subtly or just leave off the effects. Some effects, if you don't have a dedicated GPU on your system, like an NVIDIA card, an AMD card, some of the effects like the uh, 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 fade in and out when opening and closing a window, can really bring your system to a standstill, okay? And you won't know how much effect you've used until you've restarted your machine. But look at that insane shadow. <laughs> so watch this. I'm gonna move it to the left and put my, put my task bar on the left. Look at this, what is that? Oh my God. So, you can see how it can go overboard real quick, and it's not not something you want to happen. So, I mean, be careful with the Compton effects because I did it to be crazy so you don't have to. Making your desktop better, unless you do what I did with the, the, the Compton themes. Subscribe to our channel to see more Linux content like this. Check out one of our other videos here. All right, guys and gals, we'll see you next time. Have a great day, y'all. In reality, I thought I had nailed the Compton effects. So, you gotta figure it out when you screw up like that. <laughs>